Hi, my name is Blank, and I have seen mostly all of your videos about Terry, and I got an idea about how all of this started. Maybe the same way as for me. It all started with that I gave him some advice for things he showed in a video about some of his guitars. He acted like he knew better than even than me, even though I have had my guitar workshop for more than 20 years now. I kept giving him ideas of how to do things in a more proper way than he did, and he just got worse and worse about the things he did, so he started erasing my comments. Then I asked him, asked him why he erasing my comments and I got no answer on it. He has people that he follows on YouTube that he fancies more than others. He makes he make jokes that no one thinks is funny and he does not seem to have a life at all. I mean all I did was being nice to him and giving him some great ideas about how to solder and or how to make a proper fret leveling and what tools he might need etc and I just got a bag of shit back. I also made a comment on a few of his videos that I think was totally wrong that Terry you cannot tell others to do things this way when it's actually wrong. He deleted my comments just in a matter of minutes, so I guess he is online 24-7. He has not blocked me, though. I think he is sitting in his living room and masturbating a couple of times a day on the sofa he has there and uses the napkins he has on the table when he finishes, or what the proper English word for napkins are. I've been watching several of your other videos also, and you seem to know what you are talking about. As a matter of fact, you seem pretty good at what you are doing. That's because you took your time to learn both from others, from other people, but also by doing things yourself, so-called learning by doing. And that's why I think it's okay for you to make this video about Terry. I am learning things every day still, and I have to admit, I have done things also that did not turn out very good. At least I learned a lot from it. I've seen Terry is a big fan over at Ben's channel. He comments on all of his videos and acts weird on his live streams I have seen. I just stay in the background. It's about time to end this now, now and tell you that my native language is not English, so I might have fucked up some words, but I know you understand what I mean. I remember Terry had a Gibson SG that he was going to refinish or something like that. I said to him before it all started something like, that looks like a nice guitar, I would not refinish it, and whatever you do, don't try to take off the neck because that's something not to recommend for a beginner. And whatever method you use to take the neck off, there is a specific thing to pay more attention to than others, and you will need special tools in most cases. I just wanted to say to him that maybe keeping the guitar as is or only doing minor things. Oh boy, he messed up that guitar. I get so frustrated when telling him to be careful about what he do and he does not listen or thinks he is the best of all of us. He does not know his limitations at all and does not give a shit about what people tell him. He has some small amount of people that comment on his videos saying nice things. Well, I do it too sometimes to be nice, but I will not anymore. Even though Terry comments on 99% of Ben's videos, Ben only liking his comments or at the most saying thanks. So I don't think they have a conversation on any level. And the other thing that makes me frustrated, Terry does not get any better at playing guitar at all. I mean, he he is at the same level as 10 years ago. I mean, how is that possible when it's obvious that he plays guitar on a daily basis or weekly? Holy shit, that's really something that's not right in Terry's head. Terry and I got along pretty well from the beginning, but when he got to know about all of my guitars and other stuff, he took some steps back, and I didn't hear from him for a couple of weeks. He made a video about his birthday some years back and told me that he has a list of things he wanted. I said I cannot get to you any of those things, but maybe something else. I'll see what I can come up with with it, anything I said. When I find out about the shipping cost, I said I am sorry, Terry, but the shipping prices are super high from blank to Canada right now, so I cannot send you anything at the moment. He got a little pissed, and I did not hear from him for some time. I thought he was very strange and unstable in his head, so I thought I'd never talk to him again, but I did. Terry thinks he will get free stuff from people, even companies like a sponsorship or anything like that. I told Terry that I am working on a deal with GHS Strings, kind of like an endorsement thing. He said that I could send him strings, and I was like, I don't think so, because the shipping is still very, very high, and I can't send you 10, 15 packs just because I maybe will get an endorsement deal. It does not work that way. Terry got a little pissed, and I did not hear from him for some weeks. And then we are at the point where... He started to make videos about the repairs he do to the guitars and shit like that. I gave him several tips and tricks and what not to do and what to do when you are a beginner. He did not like that at all and deleted all those comments I did. This is the point where he got to know about my guitars and all my other things that he does not have. He said to me that with a good credit card, you can buy whatever you want. I said, yeah, but for me, it's not that way. I don't have any loans at the bank and I do, do savings to buy stuff. He asked, how am I able to save $1,500 in some months and buy another Gibson when I already have seven, six or seven of them? It's simple, Terry. If you have a good job and make good money, you can save and buy things without a good credit card if you do not have too much bills to pay. He gets so jealous for nothing. It feels like I cannot be friends with anyone else but him. Just like he wanted to have me for himself. I am not into that kind of shit. I am almost a couple of years away from 50 and stuff like that was maybe a thing when I was 11 or 12. I've seen him commenting on Twitter on young girls half naked with big breasts. I looked at the pictures and thought that she cannot be a day older than 16, 17 years old. What the fuck is wrong with you, Terry, I was thinking. One thing I will never be cool with is guys being with minors or even trying being with a minor. And that's about a year or a year ago or more or less. Since then, we have never talked more than a few comments I made on his videos, but I see... He hangs with Ben now. All you are telling me in this email, I know for a fact that it's 120% true because I know about his Google Hangouts and things like that. He told me that some people over there was not being nice to him, and I told him that just, if that's the case, just leave them alone. 
I did not know who these people are at the time. Then I saw him in Ben's live talking strange things. I got so confused too. I left the live and never came back anymore. I have never talked to Ben at all, just seen some of his videos and a couple of his live streams. Lance from the UK and I did talk some at the very beginning or Mike as he calls himself online. I know his real name because I was about to send him some stuff, but I never did because he ordered, from, he ordered it from somewhere else. I made a promise to never tell anyone about his real name, but this must be 10 years ago now. And Terry did not like Lance very much, I think, even though Lance was the nicest guy ever lived on this planet, I think. Terry took too much time from me, not only by drama, but even in my mind. Me thinking about why he is like he is and why he acts like he does, to tell you the truth. I almost hate him, actually. I just wish he could get a life, go out and work on the house, or maybe find someone he in his own age instead of trying with the very young girls or get a job or something like that i am not done with terry keep making videos about him i think you are doing a great job with making those videos those the ones with drawing drawing the body and bridge and talking of paint and or wood was really good i don't know if he watches your videos or not hi i remember that terry said to me a couple of times that certain people like to make fun of him and lie about him i believe him and said terry you should not be around those types of people but the more i talked to him and years went by i had a feeling about things were not right because how he was to people and to me trying to get stuff for free and all that shit so about one or two years ago i was pretty sure that everything he had said about other people making fun of him was not true i just didn't know how those people was because he would not let me know now since you made several videos about him i know that he was talking about you and some other people I am so happy that I got out of the drama before I was too much involved in things I do not have time for. I am a hard worker and I have a lot of things going on every day, almost. I recently saw some type of creator's interview video on YouTube with Terry in it, and it's all about him and how it all started. I don't know if everything he says in that over one hour video is true, but he claims to have been playing guitar since the age of eight or nine. I doubt it. I don't think Terry is any good with money. I think he cannot handle money at all. I'm not the man to judge, but it's a feeling I have since... He and I talked about money and things like that. If I ask him about anything that me and him talked about before that has to do with criticism or anything like that, he will delete that comment instantly. We mostly talk over comments, commenting on videos that now he likes to talk most of the time. What I would like to happen is that he would understand that he is not acting right. He is no way near to be able in a good way or any way to rebuild or repair a guitar. My jaw dropped when I saw the, the newest project that I even has. My first thought was, what the fuck have you done to that guitar? Second thought was, no Terry. That guitar and finish looks like shit now. He milled out the holes for the neck screws. Yeah, sure. Probably in a living room with a 99 cent cord driven no name drill. I would want him to stop telling people false information and he knows nothing about guitar building or anything. So do you even talk to Terry anymore or are you more or less not in contact with each other in any way nowadays? You seem to be able to find information that I would never be able to find, but of course you know him better than I do, so you know where to look. I heard he is bisexual. I didn't have a clue about that. He said in a couple of his videos years ago that he had a girlfriend, so I thought, good for you Terry, but... The fact that he likes very, very young girls, or maybe even younger than that, makes me a little sick. It makes me look at Terry in a whole other way than before. He claims in some sad videos that he is in pain in certain areas of the body. Yeah, that's maybe because he is sitting all day long and doing nothing. His eyes get a little sad, and he wants people to feel sorry for him. I do understand that people can't have serious problems with pain, but in Terry's case, well, I don't know. Most likely not. I never talk about... Anyways, I have a very, very much better picture now about all, thing, all this thing about Terry. Oh yeah, I remember he asked me about how long it would take to get as many views on YouTube as I have. At the time, it was 5.5 million. I said, wow, first you gotta decide what content you will put out so you don't so you know what audience you are looking for, then do it. He wanted to play guitar and make guitar repair videos and some unboxing videos. This was maybe five or six years ago, and he already had that kind of videos on his channel. I said that I think he needs to make better content, get a better mic, better camera, learn to play guitar and how to use the amp and pedals, learn how to repair guitars, and maybe take a course in how to solder. That comment he deleted in one to two hours. I see now he has 528k views on his channel, so I would consider it a fail compared to where he was eating. I remember that Terry once told me back during the days you could send messages to each other over YouTube that he had a problem with someone online. And this is 11 or 12 years ago, so I think he started messing around with people very early on, but it got more obvious the more time went by and people started to make videos about him. I remember telling him several years back that I have sold my car, an old Volvo. He said he didn't know much about cars, but I would not get much for it. I actually got pretty good for it, and I told Terry about it. It was almost like he didn't like it. I felt like I should have sold it cheaper because Terry would like it more.